Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back. I have to say I'm very happy. I've been struggling with this process over the past few pours. You know, I've been calling it the uh, reverse dump and swirl. Um, I know it's not really called that, but it's creating cells from an undercoat of thinner paint um, with a top coat. And I've seen a few artists do this. I think Paul Stoddart is one, and then Elise um, Fournier, um, she does a lot as well. So this was another black and white. I'm just trying to get the process down to where I feel comfortable, to where it looks like it's working out pretty nicely. Um, I've had issues with paints before, and I'll show you the what I, what I call Black Lily. If you look up closely, just look at what happened to the paint, um, you know, in the cells, especially in the middle. It just really didn't turn out that nice. Now this one, we walked around, turned out great. And the color is just great. Um, yeah, there's some wonky cells over there, but I think I, I'm using a, a repurposed canvas, which I had another pour on. So I'm using it for practice, but of course then when I get a painting that I like, I'm like, ugh, on an old used canvas. But let me move in a little bit, show you some of the details. I just poured the black on top of the white and I ran my finger through it a few times and, um, and then dumped it over the edge. I love the softness of the middle, actually. The ribbons there look really nice. There's more up at this side. Got an interesting eyeball forming right there. So I'm hopeful Fingers crossed that the cells don't bleed like they did in the previous painting. Um, they still might, which means my paint needs to be a little bit thicker. Um, and then again, it's playing with which one thicker, the puddle paint, the black, or with the white. So more to come. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm happy and I'm ready to do another one probably tomorrow. Okay, guys, have a great rest of the day.